Hello friends, in this video I am going to demonstrate the 80 commands for accessing the Bluetooth peripheral of SIM 800 series modules and uh, for this demonstration I am using this evaluation board from SIMCOM uh, which is having a SIM 800C module on it and I am also using this document which is the SIM 800 series Bluetooth application note V1.04 so uh, all, all the commands and every detail of the uh, you know Bluetooth peripheral of SIM 800 series module is all mentioned in this document the SIM 800 series models come with a Bluetooth 3.0 on it and uh, and support a variety of uh, Bluetooth profiles which include the SPP OPP HSP F H or HFP which is the headphone profile and uh, and there are other different Bluetooth profiles also available right now I'm using SIM 800 C module and it only supports SPP uh, OPP HFP or HSP functions or profiles and uh, right now in this demo I am demonstrating the use of SPP protocol and the HFP protocol. SIM 800C supports SPP and HFP function uh, using which you can uh, you know send and forth the serial data and also using the headphone profile you can uh, use the SIM 800C module as a as a Bluetooth headset and connect it to your smartphone and control your smartphone using uh, AT commands. You can uh, dial a dial a number. You can uh, hang up a call and you can answer a call, answer an incoming call, for using just AT commands. So first, uh, so let's open any terminal software. Uh, you can use any terminal software. I'm using TMFT. So select your serial port, select the baud rates, and uh, go to the terminal check do the okay let's first turn on the module okay okay and now uh, let's test the basic AT commands okay AT commands are working fine now uh, since the module is echoing all the data twice I need to disable the echo mode using AT E0 command and now it should be okay yeah Let's start by turning on the Bluetooth peripheral of the module using the command AT plus PT power is equal to 1. You should get an OK response for this after one or two seconds. Uh, if you don't get an OK response and if you get an error response then your uh, firmware on the SIM 800 module might not be supporting the Bluetooth. Uh, for right now I am using SIM 800 C module and the firmware I am using is AT plus CMGR. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, 80 plus CGMR. Okay, this is the firmware I am using now for for testing the Bluetooth 80 commands. And uh, uh, let's start. Okay, so first thing you need to do is uh, you will need a smartphone to test this Android smartphone. Uh, uh, let's start by you know. Okay, first thing uh, next what we need to do is. Uh, we need to check whether any devices are available for connection using the you can use the command at plus bt status okay this shows that uh, the bluetooth status is 5 5 means idle so we can search it here okay okay bluetooth status 5 means idle and now uh, and there are no Bluetooth, uh, you know, peripherals which were paired earlier, so that's why it's everything is blank. Now, uh, let's start by uh, let's start by scanning any Bluetooth devices available in the vicinity. Et plus using the command et plus bt scan. Et plus bt scan is equal to uh, one comma. 20 uh, the 1 comma 20 is nothing but uh, you can see it here pt scan uh, 1 1 comma 20 means 1 means start the scanning and 20 means the timeout it, it will scan the uh, devices available for 20 seconds and turn off the scanning so if the scanning stops we, we stop it ourselves you manually uh, then it will show the status as 2 and if we and if, if the scanning is finished then it will reply 1 so it's scanning for available Bluetooth devices in the surrounding and 
and the status was 3 scanning failed I don't know why so I will try again 80 plus BT scan is equal to 1 comma 20 okay now it's successful now there are two devices available the first one uh, the first one is uh, my smartphone and the second one is my laptop so though both are Bluetooth enabled devices so that's why they are detected here and the last value I think is a signal strength so uh, uh, now it uh, now it ended with a status of one which means scanning finished okay now we can uh, try to connect to any of the devices I will I will be first trying to pair with my mobile phone uh, uh, for for doing this testing we will need an app uh, here uh, I wrote an Android application uh, which uh, uses the Bluetooth chat uh, application sample of uh, provided by Google I developed this application for testing the Bluetooth devices this particular app uses SPP protocol to communicate with a uh, Bluetooth device now let's try to pair with my smartphone using the command 80 plus BT sorry, 80 plus BT pair is equal to 0 comma 1 now this should uh, try to pair with my smartphone uh, as you can see it asks for a confirmation I'll click on pair okay uh, now it's paired but it's still not connected so now we can see this uh, device in my Bluetooth devices list. As you can see, SIM 800C. Okay. Uh, now uh, I will try to connect, uh, and I will try to initiate a connection from my Bluetooth module to the smartphone, and let's see if it get connected. Now, since the pairing is done, we can find out what all devices are paired with the module now using the command ATP plus PT status. So now we can see that uh, the smartphone is detected and it's assigned the device ID 1. So we can use this device ID to connect to uh, the smartphone now. Now let us try to find out what are the profiles supported by the smartphone using the command ATP plus BT get prof is equal to 1. 1 is the device ID given here. Okay, these are the profiles supported. It supports SPP profile, the headphone profile, and one more PBAP profile. Uh, now let us try to connect to the smartphone using the SPP profile. Uh, we can connect to connect to the smartphone using SPP profile using the command AT plus BT connect is equal to uh, one is the device ID comma the profile we want to connect to. As you can see, the app is. Uh, showing that the device sim c is connected now now whatever if now whatever i type in here oh uh, hello how anything so it should show here so as you can see uh, the data whatever is coming from my app is shown here uh, with the uh, device ID and the number of characters received so this is the text which I entered the app automatically adds hash between all these rows which I have mentioned there okay now uh, if I want to send any data from here to my app I can do so using the command 80 plus bt spp send is equal to uh, the number of characters to be sent I'll say 10 characters and it will give me a prompt and you type hello one two three hash uh, hash is just because my app uh, reads hash uh, and uh, displays that data so I'm just using hash as a delimiter so whatever I type in here 80 plus BTS PP send is equal to 20 then hello one two three four five six eight, hash so whatever I type in here, it is reflected on my app, as you can see. And uh, so that's how we communicate using uh, the SPP profile. In the earlier example, we initiated the pairing from the device itself. Now we'll initiate the pairing from the smartphone and uh, look at the options uh, available wherein uh, you can specify what kind of authentication the 
uh, smartphone can use to pair with the SIM 800 module. If you look at this command 80 plus BT pair CFG, uh, which is which is the Bluetooth pairing configuration command. Uh, using this command, we can set the pairing configurations to be operating in three modes, uh, which is 0, 1, and 2. There are three pairing configurations supported by SIM Internet module. Uh, in the first pairing configuration, a random pin code is generated by the smartphone and uh, the module will just confirm it. And in the second one, the uh, manual password needs to be entered by the smartphone user if he knows it and uh, in the third mode which is the mode 2 a random pin code is generated by the smartphone and the module automatically acknowledges it and the user need not enter any AT command for the confirmation now let us look at the first pairing configuration mode uh, which is mode 0 which I already set it ET plus BT pair CFG so it's already set now uh, if I if I try to initiate a connection from my smartphone Okay, I'll try to pair to a SIM internet module now. When I click on this, uh, it's giving me AT pairing request. I need to confirm using command AT plus BT pair is equal to one comma one, and click on pair here. This will confirm the pairing, and the SIM internet module is detected in the smartphone and headphone audio device, as you see here, and here also it shows that the module is connected to the smartphone using the headphone profile uh, now let us look at one more pairing configuration uh, we can change the pairing configuration using it plus bt pair cfg is equal to one now we need to reboot the module now we need to Okay, one second. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, mode one needs a password to password to be entered. The default password is 0000. So I will change the password to 80 plus BT pair CFG is equal to 1, 5555. So the password is set now. 80 plus BT power is equal to 0. Let's reboot the module. Let's see if any old. Now let's see if it, there are any old pair devices. Let's remove them. It plus BT and pair is equal to one. It will remove the device with ID one. Okay, the Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth is idle now, and there are no pair devices. And here also, let's make the smartphone forget the earlier pairing. Now I set the pairing configuration to 1 and now let's try to pair with the module. As you can see it's asking for a password then a random number. As you can see the module automatically got connected to the smartphone without needing for any confirmation. As you can see the module is uh, already paired with the smartphone now let's try to remove the pairing and here also we'll make it forget and again change the pairing configuration to mode 2 Now let's reboot the module Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth is rebooted and it's idle now. Now let's try to pair again. As you can see, it's asking for a random number to be entered by the module. 
but here we have set it for mode 2 so it automatically got connected it didn't ask for any confirmation so that's how the mode 2 configuration is now since we are connected to the smartphone using an uh, using an audio profile audio headset profile now let's try to make some calls using the commands at plus bt at d phone number sorry Now as you can see the SIM 800 c uh, dialed remotely into the smartphone and it's asking for a call to be generated. Now uh, the call is being generated. Now uh, I can disconnect the call using the command ET plus BT ETH. So the call got disconnected. Similarly, if there is an incoming call, then I can answer it using the command ET plus BT ATA. So there is no call now, so it's giving error. So if you had a call incoming to your smartphone, you can uh, answer it using your SIM 800 module, which is connected as in Bluetooth headset. So once you are done, make sure that you uh, use the command ET plus BT disconnect is equal to one which will disconnect from the device id so those are the bluetooth commands uh, to be used with the spp profile and also with the uh, with the audio headset profile there are different profiles available which you can uh, experiment with this is the basic uh, uh, demonstration like how what are the commands to be used so also make sure about uh, also make sure that you are using the right firmware before doing anything if you like this video click on the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel to stay in touch thank you for watching